Are you a one monitor streamer that doesn't want to use their phone to read chat anymore? Let me show you how to display your Twitch chat over your game while you're live streaming so you can easily read chat with one monitor. This will work for OBS Studio or literally any streaming software of your choice. First thing we need to do is grab this free transparent Twitch chat overlay, which I'll leave linked in the description down below. And we'll scroll down until we can see, download the latest release from here. So we'll click that. We'll find the latest version available, which at the time of this video is 0.92. Now we we can scroll down until we see assets. We'll click on that. And then we're going to click on Twitch chat overlay installer.exe. Once it's done downloading, you can simply click it to start the installation. Then we're going to click I accept the agreement. Click next. It's under our program files. And then I'm going to click next again. We're going to create a desktop shortcut. And then we'll click next. And we're going to click install. While this is installing, I got to tell you about today's sponsor. Own.tv is my favorite place to get anything for my stream design. The stream design bestseller packages are absolutely the best. For example, we'll click on the dark mode series. And then we can actually go down on the left left hand side and you can see a live preview of everything that comes included with this package. So you'll get the starting soon screen, the pause screen, the animated alerts, the animated webcam overlays, everything you could possibly want all in one cohesive package. And setting this up is super easy. I'll leave a video in the top right corner showing you how to set it up. And I'll also leave a link in the description down below where you guys can check out own.tv. But now that the installation is finished, we can launch the Twitch chat overlay and we're going to click finish. Once you've opened up the program, you should see a window just like this. I'll drag it over to the left so you guys can see it better and this is going to be our transparent twitch window so the first thing we want to do is actually click on the left hand side here and it's going to open up our settings window the cool thing about this is that you don't actually have to link or log into your twitch account you simply have to put your username on twitch now since i'm not streaming right now i'm actually going to go to my old buddy in sims channel since he's live streaming right now with plenty of chatters so i'm going to type in his username which is just in sim and under redemptions i'm going to leave this box checked because it's just going to show when somebody redeems their channel points on the stream for the channel id you can click on the get channel ID and I got hit with this error message, but that's totally cool because it's going to work anyway. So you can just hit OK and that's going to be fine. For the chat fade, you can have the lines of chat fade out after a certain amount of time. So if you want that, you can enable it. And this is just going to be the time it's going to take for those messages to fade out. You can also do some filter settings. I like having the show bot activity enabled because you can actually have your alerts showed up through your chat box. So you don't actually have to see the actual alert pop up on your stream since you're playing your game on one monitor. So I'm going to leave that enabled and click click save. You can have a chat sound. Anytime someone chats, you can have a little sound play. However, that's going to be super annoying. So honestly, I just recommend leaving it off and you can change the theme here, but I like leaving this on default and then this one on default as well. You can click save. So now you can see that the chat room is going to start loading and it's going to have in Sims chat right now. And I'm going to bring up his Twitch chat right now. So you can see that there's no delay or anything. So you can see that in Sim is live. I got the little chat box right here. It's basically instantaneous. So whenever somebody's typing in his chat, it's popping up in the chat box right here. So we have the live chat chat working great. So now that we got this window, let me show you how to do it when you have a game. I booted up everybody's favorite game, Crab Game. Now, in order for this to work and this to show up over your game like I have it now, it's only going to work for borderless full screen or windowed mode. Let me show you what I mean. Let me go into my game settings and then we're going to go to the video settings. You can see that I'm on full screen windowed or also known as borderless full screen mode. And that means that you can actually see it. And if I go, you can do maximized window or even windowed mode. It's all going to work. However, if you play on just full screen, so let me turn it to full screen real quick. This is the full screen mode and you can see that the Twitch chat has disappeared. You're going to need your play to your games in borderless full screen mode, which most modern games all have the options to. And if you don't have that option, then you're going to have to play in windowed mode like so. Once you have that set up, we can actually X out of your settings and now we have the chat here. But now you're probably wondering, well, how do I play it without moving this thing around all the time when I'm playing my game? So you're going to find a spot that you really like. We're going to go to this top left little settings and then I'm going to click on general and you can see we have some different things here. You can feel free to leave all of these enabled like so and click save and then when you're ready to lock in this chat so you can't click on it while you're in game you can actually right click the window and then you can toggle the borders with f9 so if you click on that it's going to make it so you can't click or move it anymore and you're just playing your game now if you try pressing f9 right now it's not going to work which means that you need an alt tab so we'll click alt tab and we're going to go to the window again right there and now you can press f9 and it's going to bring that little border back so that way you can go and make your changes keep in mind that only you will be able to to see this chat since it's over your game and likely you're only using a game capture or a window capture in your streaming software but if you want your stream to see both the game and the chat that you're seeing you're going to have to switch in your streaming software to a display capture source which means you're going to share everything on your screen including the game and your now new twitch chat overlay right there so if you're in obs studio and you're probably streaming already you're either using a game capture or a window capture all you have to do is use a display capture instead which will then capture everything on your screen as you 
you can see now, it shows what's ever on my screen and the Twitch chat that we can see right there. Now, a really important thing we need to cover is getting your actual alert messages to show up here because you need to have a bot set up in order to do that. So if you actually go to the top left, we're gonna go back to the setting. You can do a bunch of stuff with the widgets. So you can click this link right here and it'll bring you to this page right here and it'll show you how to do some more customization, including YouTube chat and all that good stuff. But to keep things super simple and if you wanna see your alerts pop up in your chat when someone follows you or anything like that, then you can go to the chat tab, go to the open chat filters and make sure the show bot activity is enabled. And then you're gonna wanna add the stream elements bot to your channel, which I can show you how to do in this video to the side of me. So watch that video, make sure to drop a like on this video. My name's Cody and I'll see you in the next one.